up guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Stephanie. If you guys are new here to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell because you do not want to miss another one of my videos. Definitely like and share this video with your friends. It will help me out so very much. Today I'm going to be doing this look I have on right now. This is a Valentine's Day night out look. So this is perfect if you're going out to the movies or dinner or whatever with your significant other and you want to look a little poppin', a little more fierce. Even if you're staying home and you just want to look a little, feel and look a little bad, then definitely you're a baddie and definitely get yourself all done up. Take some pics, put it on the gram, let them know what these guys are missing out. Oh. For today, I'm going to be doing this look and if you guys are interested to replicate this look and see how I did it, Definitely keep on here. Right, let's go ahead and get into this look. So brows are on, eyelids are primed, and we have a tape on the sides of our eyes because I really want that sharp line at the end. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the Strawberry Dream palette and we will be using more of the darker colors today. I wanted to do more of a darker, sultry kind of look. So let's go ahead and get started. The first shade I'm going to take is Cloudy and Skyline. So I'm gonna mix the two. We're gonna be hitting the tape at the end. So we're gonna be winging it out. There we go. Now I'm gonna be going in to the shade Sunset, which is this purpley wine color. And we're gonna be doing the same step. We're gonna be taking it on the same brush and we're just gonna be blending that into the crease as well. Awesome, now going in with the same shade and then a little bit of the Strawberry Moon shade, I'm mixing the two, and I'm gonna be deeping up that crease and still doing the same motion and winging it out. Now going in with just Strawberry Moon and I'm gonna be mixing it with a little bit of Storm Clouds. Just mixing the two. We're gonna deepen up. Alrighty guys, now we're gonna leave it like this and we're gonna be cutting our crease. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be cutting my crease. We're gonna be doing a full on cut crease today. And there you guys have it. This is gonna be the cut crease. And now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the lid. I'm gonna be taking Ruby Skies, which is this beautiful, um, kind of like sparkly, ruby -ish kind of color. I don't know, but it is so pretty, guys. I'm gonna spray my brush just with some setting spray. And I'm gonna be taking that and just putting it all over the lid. This color, guys, is just so pretty. I'm in love with it. See, so guys, I think I'm just gonna take my finger into that and then just apply it onto the lid. Alrighty, guys, and there we have it. Let me go ahead and take off this. And that is going to be the eye. So let me go ahead, get off camera, finish up this eye, throw on a lash, and then we're gonna come back and finish up this. Alrighty one. guys, so lashes are on. I went ahead and threw on a Mykonos by Lily Lashes. And now we're gonna go into some foundation. So for primer, I'm going to be using the Touch and Soul Glossy um, Primer. And then for foundation, I will be going in with my Photo Focus Wet n Wild Foundation in the shade. Do, 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 do. Golden Beige. You guys know I swear by this foundation. I just heard that they took out 
a new foundation that is it's this this one but it's dewy so this one has more of a matte finish and supposedly the new wet and vile foundation has a dewy finish so i want to try out and um review it for you guys most definitely so that should be coming soon i just have to go hunt it down so i'll be doing that soon guys so let's go ahead and just blend this in Now going in with my sharp tart shape tape. I'm actually gonna mix a little bit of that one and then a little bit of the Too Faced Born This Way. in with my Laura Mercier powder. Going in with my translucent powder in the deep dark. I'm just gonna kind of set where I would bronze with this. Even though I didn't cream contour, I'm still gonna set in the same areas that I would have contoured. So right there. Awesome guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start going in with my lower lash line. So I'm gonna go back into the palette and I'm gonna be taking Stormy, oh, Storm Cloud, which is this deep purple wine shade. And I'm going to be winging right underneath what the wing I already created with the tape. So with an angled brush, I'm winging it down. I'm bringing that shade into the lower lash line. Alrighty, now I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of a blending brush and I'm gonna be taking Strawberry Moon. And I'm just gonna kind of start smoking that out a bit. Awesome guys, so that's what we have so far. Now I'm gonna be going in to the shade Lightning right here which is a very beautiful kind of like white but has a gold undertone to it so it's very very pretty in the light so i'm gonna go ahead and spray my brush and then i'm gonna be hitting the inner corner with this shade right there Ooh, y'all see that oh my god love this shade so much so i'm gonna hit that inner corner with that I'm blending it up and down. And I'm gonna also be hitting this a little bit on the brow bone, so right up here. Give me that glow. There we go, guys. So let me go ahead, finish up the other lower lash line, and then I'm gonna be right back and we'll finish up this face. Alrighty, guys, so I went ahead and finished up the other eye. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into some bronzer and finish up this face, literally. So I'm gonna be going to I'm going to be using the Becky G X Color Pop Bronzer in the shade 310. I've been really going to this recently, so I mean, we love that. I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up the face. Alrighty guys, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut my contour we're gonna let this bake all 
Alrighty guys, now we're gonna go straight into some blush. I'm gonna be using my Pac-Man blush palette right here and I, oop, and I, oop. And I'm gonna be using these two shades. Blushing up the face. Guys, no, I love this part. I love me some blush. Blush on the nose. We love, we love her. We love a good blushed nose. Blush in the temples, blush on the chin. Blush everywhere. Boom. This is what I have so far. Now we're gonna go in and just highlight the nose and highlight the cheekbones. Going in with the shade Lightning right here. I'm gonna be using that same shade to highlight the cheeks. It's been my go-to and I absolutely love it. It just has such a beautiful reflection. Oh, I just love it so much. I just, I can't get over it. I can't get over it. Sometimes I forget about it, that shade being in here, but when I do remember, sheesh, I just fall in love all over again. highlighted to the gods go ahead and the nose the bridge of the nose right here and the cupid's bow i'm gonna go ahead and just wipe off this bakage and now we're gonna go into some lips into some lippies. Alrighty, so I'm gonna be going in with the Becky G liner in Muñeca. And I'm gonna be lining my slips. And now I'm just gonna go in with my NYX um, matte lipstick in the shade Abi A Dubai. Alrighty guys, for today's setting spray, I'm gonna be using the Slay All Day from Gerard Cosmetics. And this is in the cucumber, in the scent cucumber. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this. settled into the skin. Alrighty guys, so this completes today's look for this nighttime Valentine kind of look. So this is perfect if you guys are going out on Valentine's and it's gonna be a late night, you guys are gonna have some fun, you want more of a dark, sultry, but still in theme kind of look. I think this is perfect for a Valentine's Day night out. So if you guys like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. It will help me out so very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, guys. It will really help me. So I encourage you guys to please, please, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, because I will very much appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching today, guys, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys.